I knew it was going to take me a minute to adjust to the state side. But overall, I didn't really think it was something wrong with me. But I saw my anger and my frustration with a lot of things in life just getting worse. They noticed some change in me. They know they noticed that I wasn't the same happy, joy, lucky person I was. I had an anger issue from that point, and that's how I dealt with my feelings. Over the years, it was everything that I couldn't control in my life. I reacted in anger. When I would talk to my friends after coming back, you know, and I, they'd want to hear stories, and a lot of times I would say stuff like, I was just like, oh, well, uh, it's too hard to explain. I went from being an active duty Marine to being a stay-at-home dad overnight in less than 30 days, you know. Um, and it was rough because I didn't have any resource, I didn't have any friends, family, nothing around. I went back to counseling. I called the clinic and asked to see mental health and I went back and I had spent six weeks with a counselor and throughout the time, every week that I saw him, he said, I think you should go to group therapy. I think you should go to group therapy every time. And I didn't want to go to group therapy. I don't care what everybody else went through and they don't care what I went through and listening, you know, to how they felt wasn't going to help me. And finally, I just gave in. Fine, I'll go once, but I, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to sit through all of it. We all addressed our actions in the same way. Um, and so I went back a second week just to see, give it a little bit more of a chance, and it turned out to be the best decision that I had ever made. When you have that kind of... Um strength there in group therapy when you have other people who have been through the same things you've been through and who have dealt with them in all different kinds of ways it helps you in immeasurable um in, in immeasurable ways to, to, to try to move uh, past all the things that are going wrong you know all the things you're having problem with um and group therapy does that it just helped me to relate to veterans who currently deploy uh, recently deployed and those who have been home for long periods of time and just made me feel safe being able to talk about my stories and the hardships and stuff that I've dealt with. I could meet up with other vets and who were in massive pain like me and then it wasn't just, I didn't feel like it was just me dealing with my issues. It was, hey, we are all dealing with these issues. Having the group therapy and being able to either just hear a guy bitch and complain because he needs to bitch and complain or if you got guys who have legitimate uh, you know, things they're dealing with um, and that may be something that you went through before, or that may be something that you know somebody went through and you can, you know, obviously help and, and do all these kind of things because you can relate to it. It helps me at my workplace. It helps me um, at my church. It helps me in the community. Like a lot of these skills, I, I can apply to anyone and help anyone with it. I still um, talk to on a daily basis with women that were in the women's group with me. Being around other people who want to better themselves pushes you to want to be a better person.